Welcome back to Detroit. Pissing me off. The algorithm is not my friend, and unfortunately, I don't give a shit, unfortunately. Uh, anyways, uh, welcome back to the show, and today we're talking injuries. Wah, wah. Marvin Bagley, it's, it's tough to see this happen. Of course, for Jalen Duran, that's going to give him the opportunity. So, if the opportunity is present here, huge, huge. And Miller's role when he returns... I think a pretty big role. I think Noel's actually a good player because of his lob threat and his defense. He's kind of like the opposite of Marvin Bagley. Can't shoot like Marvin Bagley. Probably shoots even worse, but he's not gonna try to shoot much. So he's just gonna rebound, floor run, and dunk. And that's fine. So New Orleans Noel, let's go! Marvin Bagley, please come back soon. Please watch a lot of defensive tapes, but we hope it's just a mild sprain and we'll see you back here shortly but it was good but and then again i'm not a doctor and i haven't seen the mri i don't know if it got results yet so we'll have to be patient to find out when's marvin back gonna come back detroit pissing me off will be on the case furthermore oh getting angry oh, now that dennis rodman shirt looks good doesn't it fine player dennis rodman he should have stayed in detroit but hey had to move on to Greener Pastures. Appreciate what he did for us as a Piston. And it's hard to find some loyalty out there. Of course, it's just business. Trying to make a buck here and there. So, here we go, Pistons, huh? Of course, Dennis Rodman demanded a trade from the Detroit Pistons. And he went to San Antonio where he was traded for Elliott. And I liked him as well. He wasn't a defensive player. He was more of a shooter outside. Dennis Rodman was what we needed and still need to this day. It was reborn with Ben Wallace, etc. But uh, Dennis Rodman's attitude, maybe he'd be like Draymond Green. I'd take him possibly if we're right on the cusp of championship, but not until then. Don't want him knocking out any of our own players. Anyways, uh, that's all I got on that. If you guys could do me a favor, help me out with that algorithm and smash the like button for me. Boop ba doop doo. Slam dunk on that. Slam dunk on that. Do a Dikembe Mutombo on that like button. No, no Dikembe Mutombo. Do a Grant Hill slam a damn a ding dong jam on that subscribe button. Hit the little notification bell. It's like a free throw line charity stripe shot. I bid you adieu here on Detroit pissing me off. Keep our fingers crossed and our hearts open for Marvin Bagley. And hopefully we are not hit by, by the injury bug. The duration, the severity is going to vary. So with that said, I'll see you next time on Detroit. Pissing me off. We'll have a preview of the upcoming game. I believe it's on Friday versus... Yo, kiddo, uh, let me save you the trouble. The yeah. Memphis Grizzlies coming. Preseason game, Google. Where's my assistant? I'll be your assistant. Oh, yes. Tomorrow against the Memphis Grizzly. That's a Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And U UST or Universal Standard Time. Sorry, don't know. Don't really care either. Use Google and figure it out if you want to. But Detroit Pistons against Memphis Grizzly. And hopefully we'll see Ja Morant versus Common Comparison. His mother coached Ja Morant. And Jaden Ivey will hopefully come in there. And Ja Morant. And they will do battle together. And hopefully defensively. Jaden Ivey learns another thing or two. He's got a lot of potential. Showed a nice steal and a block the other game. Preview on that will probably be later this evening, so stay tuned for that. Uh, right now, I just don't really want to get into it. And do research, of course, you can always do a little more. Always do a little more research. So, until next time, until later tonight. So stay tuned. After this video, I will be releasing the preview to the Memphis Grizzlies right after this.